Welcome to yet another Hot Sauce Review Show. This is episode four. can't believe I've already done four of these. It's crazy. Pretty soon it's going to be like episode 5,000. And I'm going to be an old man with three beards and no head. I don't know how I can get any more bald than this, but it's, it's possible. Eventually, eventually people are going to shine down a laser from space and they can like bounce radio messages off the top of my chrome dome to aliens like 12 million miles away from here true. When that day comes, I'll make a billion dollars, and then I won't have to do this show anymore. But I will. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, today, obviously, we're going to have another hot sauce review, so without further ado, bring it up, ghoul! Oh. Oh, there it is! Hey, thanks, ghoul, you're fast today. I appreciate that. You know Get out of here! Get out of here! Thanks, cool. Hey! So today, I'm going to be reviewing Fat Cat Mexican Style Habanero. It says on the bottle, it's perfectly good. And I got my trusty spoon here. This one's this one's metal because uh, we ran out of plastic ones. So I'm just going to use a metal teaspoon instead. Yes, it's a teaspoon. I'm not doing tablespoons because I don't want cap cramps. Um, so it says here, National Award Winner. While the orange habanero is one of the world's hottest chilies, this sauce takes a decidedly Mexican approach to it, focusing more on the pepper's fruity flavor than its intense heat. Don't get us wrong, this is still darn hot stuff. But it's also savory and sweet. Add it to eggs, fried chicken, enchiladas, Bloody Marys, anything you feel, anything you want to feel some south of the border spice. Or anywhere you want to feel some south of the border spice. Heat level, 7 out of 10. Now. Every time I see, like, some kind of scale on bottles like this, where it's like, 7 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, whatever. It's not like these scales are, um, like, universal, right? So, it's always someone else's scale, and the numbers don't mean anything, right? You can eat one that's like, 5 out of 5 hot scale, and then you eat it, and it's nothing. Like, it doesn't burn you at all. You eat something that's like, it's like three out of five and your mouth explodes, you know? It, it, these numbers mean nothing. People shouldn't put them on the bottle. Just say it's hot. People will be like, hmm, it's hot. I'm going to try it out. Um, it says here it's made in Florida, manufactured for Fat Cat Gourmet Goods, LLC. Um, and uh, let's see the ingredients. Apple cider vinegar, water, carrots, onions, orange, habanero peppers, sugar, garlic, sea salt, xanthan gum, and... Bay leaf? That's weird. I wonder, if I'll, I wonder if I'll be able to taste that. Um, this sauce is not very expensive, actually. This one says $9.99. That's Canadian, so probably cheaper than that in the States. Um, definitely a sauce that is affordable. Um, let's crack this open. Test the scent. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. You can definitely smell the... Uh, the garlic in this. And the apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm not sure about the carrots, because they even have a scent. Not really. Can't smell the bay leaf or anything else, but it's got a nice scent to it. It's kind of fruity, with a little bit of a sharpness, like acidity to it from the, from the uh, vinegar, I guess. Let's see if we can get some of this. In the ghoul's eyes. I'm kidding. There's the pork. It's chunky. It's got some thickness to it. Pretty nice. Look at that. It's got a nice consistency. I just drip some. I'm dripping more. Don't worry. I missed the ghoul's eyes. The ghoul didn't get any in his eyeballs. Alright, let's see. I want to try a little bit more of that. I like the chunkiness. You know, that's got some real heat to it. Um, I wouldn't call it a 7, but the heat's there. 
It's about right now straight out of the bottle. I'm not sure if it's going to build. It feels like it is. Right now, I'm at about a one. Um, the flavor is good. The vinegar is kind of up front, but you do taste the garlic and... Um, I can't really taste the carrots, but they're there. There's chunks of them in it. You can see it in the bottle. Um, the xanthan gum, gum gives it kind of like a like a, a, a jam texture to it, even though it's a little thinner than that, but it looks like jam on the spoon. Um, can't taste the bay leaf. Wait a minute. Actually, yeah, you kind of can. It's at the back, but it's there. It's interesting how... Something with such, like, strong initial flavors. You can sort of pick up on everything that's in it after a while. Um, honestly, it's pretty good. I brought my bottle of water just in case, but I'm not, I don't need it. Um, I'd say that's a one. It's not that hot. It says seven out of ten on the bottle. I guess for non-chili heads it would be pretty hot, but for me it's, it's like a one. Moves my needle, but just barely. Uh, for the price, however, it has good heat. Like, ten bucks Canadian. It's cheaper in the States, I would imagine, like I said. Pretty good heat. I recommend it. It tastes good. Like, you could use that on... pretty much anything. Like, toast? That would be great on toast, actually, in the morning. Eggs? I, I'm not sure. I'd have to try it, but... Definitely recommend it. The good sauce. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, till next time.